So during during y'all war years, your 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 main adversaries were who? Shit, all of them. Even to this day, the young homies had to, not only was they the crazy, they had to fight with the bus, the biggest, one of the biggest blood gangs, the families and the swan. Based on mentioning young homies, right? Most hoods in LA, hold on, not to cut you off. No. But most hoods in LA were small, started with small gangs, they don't, they're not around, they disintegrate. This is a state functioning for 47 years. OG Big Cool, 92nd Street. So, y'all was real cool with the Swans up until when? Really, I think it started falling apart like in like 86, 87, somewhere like that. I was in Solid and some shit went on. I don't know what it was. Something happened in the early 80s with one of the Swans' homeboys who got killed. At this liquor store. At this liquor store, right? The same very same liquor store? That was um, Eminem. 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 Pac-Man. 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 And that, that, you know, he was the homie for some reason because he got killed in the neighborhood. <sighs> so wait a minute, wait a minute. You guys got Swan and family on y'all. And technically you guys are at war right now. Yeah. How do the little homies... Do that, you know, the big homies got the enemies tattooed on them. Well, not only that, we fuck, you know, we don't condone this, the big homies from either side. That's why we trying to put this shit to a stop. Trying so to squash, we're man. trying to get this shit squashed because the big homies from eight and a half families, the, most, the majority of the homies from Beat Bottom, we're not with the bullshit. When did that war kick off? What year? We always used to fight with these dudes because we're closer. You understand that? We used to. Take fades with them. But what happened, one of their G's, which was from Nine Deuce, he shot the little homie Taco. It escalated since then. And that was what, 95, 96? What yeah, year was then, that? But then it cooled off, though. Something like that. I was in New York and like, they called me Taco. When you say Taco, we got a founder that's Taco. Yeah, yeah. No, that's Kojak, and Taco is. Rest in peace, the that's woman okay. was, was started, but the, he got lineage. It's, he got his two nephews, nephews. Okay. which is a baby taco and a little taco. So who crossed the line first? Uh, I'm going to pull, pull the gun and shot first. I'm gonna, that's what pretty much first. Mr. Wino, original, 93rd Street, Bebop Watts. First. Basically, one of the little homies got out. One of the little homies from 89. I guess they say that the little homie, I don't know who got the best of who, but it was it was characterized that our little homie uh, disrespected them. You know what I'm saying? Like saying that they said and whatnot. And the older one that just got out of jail by him being, I guess, been in so long, he just took it as a diss and, and blasted the homie like he was an enemy. You know what I'm saying? We just didn't take that to life, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Because even, even if he did say fuck family, that's, that's fuck, like, you still don't, you don't shoot a homie. Shoot, shoot another blood. We were cut from a different cloth, you know what I'm saying? We had our fades back in the day, but nobody really never pulled a gun to, to kill another blood because it just wasn't like that. Today, you don't know, can't trust nobody, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all acting like Crips now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that part. Most neighborhoods have crossed, you know, 
more bloods get along with Crips than you the Crips get along with Crips. So, you know, like sure. uh, so, so when this war so when this war kicked off, there was no one trying to sweep nothing at the beginning. Not at the beginning, no, because I mean, that was no, it got it got swept up under the rug for for a minute to and to to the, uh, what's his name, brother got killed. Who? Tony Jack. Tony Jack. When we was out of town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Tony Jack got killed, and they, you know, they, they escalated. They claimed that it was came from the other side. So you know. So what's the issue now? If you guys are hollering at the old heads over there, and you guys are in agreement, what's the holdup? I mean, shit been cool for the moment. Everybody like, low key put that behind us now. So it was just something that was building up over the years. Yeah. Their own neighbor was being taken over by the F-13s in parts, you know, where it's neutral zone. But they way over here fucking with our young homies. The Swans has always been on that side of Manchester. The Founders is between 92nd Street and Manchester, which is the 8 and That's two different gangs. Is from the outside, from the nigga off the west side. Do y'all consider neighborhood family and swans the same? Uh, yeah, you can now. Why you say now? It was a time. I mean, I, at the time, you run across some of the families, they were like, nigga, this family, you know, and now it's FS. It's really that on the map. So the, the neighborhood families probably had some type of Friendship or alliance with the Inglewood family? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. then the family swans is just all of them combined. All of them combined. Right. And you guys were closer to the eight nines and nine dudes? Is that right? Well, we was, like I said, uh, early 80s, it was all three of them, our family swans. Okay. And then the years went on, we fucked with the bitch. So we even was hooked up with the bunny hunters at one time. Yeah, we had a legion with the bishops in the early 80s. We used to throw the parties. And we used to say, be by bishop. We actually said, be by family yeah, swan bishop. Yeah. This whole area had an alliance with each other. We used to say, be by I think Wano got be by family swan on his arm. The homie static box from, uh, from Swan. Mm -hmm. Be by. Deuce got it. A lot of the homies used to say, be by family swan. Did you guys play Compton much? Nah. No. Nah. I lived out in Luther's Park for about two, three years, but uh, we didn't uh, we didn't leak up or nothing. We was all cool though. You know, I gave parties over there, they came, shit like that. So all this moving around you did, was it just you when you got older or was it your whole family? Me. Me and my, and my wife went with now. So you've been married a long time? Well, we only been married eight years, but we've been together about 33, 34. Wow, right. congratulations. Man. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, what else? Uh, did you guys used to go out to Magic Mountain? What yeah, we hit Magic Mountain, like on certain hood days when they started that. But when my first time going was a hood day, because I was locked up when they started that shit. So it's safe to say y'all was flamed up on hood. Oh, day. yeah. Manager with the sheet t shirts and all, you know what I'm saying? Do Bebops have a particular color, red or burgundy? Not really. It's all the same to you. Yeah. Guys. You got some homies with big blue down, some homies red, brown, even growing up, you know. Mm -hmm. They didn't actually worry about the colors. You're not much older than me, but do you know the history of the golf hats? No. No, me neither. No. I want to find some I know uh, Big Taco, he used to wear them. He's, but I, I don't know nothing about that. Yeah, me neither. I want to find somebody. I got a homie, Big Wino. He be wearing the old jeans. He might know more about it than me. Uh, let's see. What am I missing, man? The store. Oh, let me. Store and incident. Yeah, well, that store on 96th Street, Van B. Bob Wise. And. It been like that for years, you know, ever since I've been over there. But it was a blood store too. We made it possible for any blood that wanted to get a drink at 1.30 in the morning, they could pull up at that store. 
and be safe. We talking about 92nd and Central? Yeah, 92nd and Central. Yeah, some people claim it's a Swan store. Nah, they store was on Stafford and 85th. Yeah, it was three, it's three Mike's liquor store on that side. It's one on 89th Central, one on 85th and Stafford, and one 92nd and Central. Yeah, I know. I remember that store always had <laughs> hit ups on that store, man. That was a don't go to oh, type yeah. of store. Yeah, we made it safe for all the homies to come there, you know. You know, what what, what uh, police or sheriff control your neighborhood? At that time it was. Now they got LAPD go through there now. Was it sheriff when you was younger? Yeah, it was sheriff. So when you guys got arrested, what court did you go to? And what jail? <sighs> well, shit. When the sheriffs take you, if you go to NADU police station, that before they did the Imperial thing. And then from there, they shoot us to the county. Let me, let me rewind back, because we're, we're thirsty for the other side, that those 4,300 4, yeah, blood module, because we don't know about that. Uh, we only know about 4,800. Tell us something. We've never been in the side of 4,300. It was a power, it was a power <laughs> structure in 4,300. And it fucked the blood car up as well. It was basically who, whatever said they thought that was the deepest was the in, there, in that motherfucker. Yeah. They tripped yeah. on everybody else. That's gonna be Pyru every time, then, right? No, Pyru in the swans. Yeah, they 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 be thick up in there. So we didn't have problems out of all of them to keep it one hundred. When you come in there individual, these niggas might trip. But you you found in there though. But when we yeah. came in that motherfucker one one year it was me, Bane, Luke, Buck, Bone, about six or seven deep. We didn't have no problems. The niggas didn't say shit. But when one homie come one at a time. A lot of the homies then ran into bullshit with these niggas, but that blood might just fucked up the blood car as well. Did this have to do with being cut or uncut, or is it something no. different? It was, it was numbers. Numbers. It was numbers. Yeah. Me and my homeboy, Big Kiko, I almost left him out. He's another one that was a force in the hood. We uh, went to 3500. That was a blood monitor, like in 83. And um, one man sales, cracking. But yeah, the shares they um they ran they ran all that shit. When y'all was in thirty five hundred, y'all got escorted by the deputies. Yeah, everywhere you go. Shackled up. Yes, sir. And what was the Crips house then? Do you know? It was forty eight hundred. Oh, they was way over. Yeah, 48. they were forty. Cause we ended up going to forty six too. They had, we had forty three and forty six, and then the Crips they was at forty eight. Yeah, I remember forty three. Yeah, we was at 43. I was in them shit. Matter of fact, I was in all of them love my mother. Ended up in 2200 and 98. Stayed in there about 18 months fighting the three strike case. Hmm. But when y'all go to court, the blood's got their own tank? Yeah. Like a lot of us go to Compton Court. We have a little court tank. They put us all in. There'll be about there and there 40 people in that little tank. The criminal court building. We, you know, mother had to have be on his guard though when he hitting that court line though. He's back then. This shit was cracking. With who? Crips or the Mexicans? Yeah, Mexican? the Crips. Yeah. Not the Mexicans wasn't doing nothing. Not back Not then. then no. <laughs> Hell no, they didn't say shit. And we talking mid eighties. Yeah. Okay. Look, uh, since all the Damo's got along. Explain how the blood module went. Like, what I'm saying is, in the crib module, you got the neighborhoods all on the same road the O's, the Harlems, the, then the anti Hoovers, the Photos Gangsters, Fotre Gangsters, A7 Gangsters. And then on the bottom, you got all the people that get along with Hoover and the A Tray Gangsters. How did the blood module go? It was something about the same because you had, uh, like, Baker and Denver, you had the, the, the bishops, us, villains, stuff like that upstairs. Downstairs, you had the power rules. It be mixed. Half half a row be power rules, other half probably be swans. Really, the swans and bunny hunters, they float. They had whatever sale they went to, they just went to. You know, but we was, uh, we was with the bishops, you know. Was it? 
So, was it like West Side separated from nah, East Side? No, 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 no. It was uh, just like if it ain't too many of y'all, us, uh, they are put us whatever hood that we get along with. Like Devil Road, it was some homies up there. I was on Baker Road with a gang of power rules. We didn't never had no problem with each other. Actually, I ain't never had no problem with no homies in the mind. Did did the Bloods fight each other for playtime? Oh yeah, there was a lot of that going on. <laughs> did some turn into serious beefs? Yeah. You know, horse playing with a motherfucker leads to fist fights. Do you think the the sheriff do that shit on purpose? Yeah. Cause you get you get locked up, don't get no roof time, no play time, all you're gonna do is turn on each other. Cause that little day room time they give you, all they tell you is the motherfucker don't wanna watch Soul Train in his own. So it was um it was popping. Now see when I when I was going up in there we didn't even have a day room. <laughs> the day room was for general population. We was locked down twenty four seven. Yeah, we they took the roof and everything from us the last mm -hmm. time. Like, but like when I was like twenty two, that was like in the late nineties. They give us roof like when they want to, shit like that. Showers when they want to. We didn't have no nothing coming. They, you know, we was like the worst of the worst in their eyes. Like. Did they ever play games with y'all like they did the Crips where they let two bloods out to get down on the tier in front of everybody? No, they let us out with each other. Just to yeah, run, but the, the it's tier. like certain, I mean, I remember one time, I guess a Rip was fucking up on the main line and he brought him to us. And uh, motherfuckers had him a little bit and then they snatched him up and punished us for doing it, but they brought him to us. Yeah, see, they play those games like that, man. Yeah. People on the outside don't know. And then even on the inside, we fall for it. Exactly. And then you get older and you realize, man, that was some stupid shit we did. Actually, it is. Yeah, but they, hey, you know, I run across folks. I was going to say white folks, but we run across them other dudes and they say, y'all act like we just sit around and plan shit. Yeah, you do. <laughs> You really do. You keep shit going to monsters because you know we going to fall for it. That's right. But um, I'm trying to see, was it any big names you was in the module with or in the prison with? Out the Domo car? Big reading off the swan. We was in the pen together. Gangsta Nate from Lucas Park. We was in the, my dad was all in the same yard together and Big Dale from 60 Real. It was a couple more names I just can't pitch mm -hmm. on right now. Matter of fact, it was some legends, to tell you the truth. That's what I call them. It was some legends. I was in jail in the prison with and in the county jail. Go ahead, I'll stop. When you, when you say hat gang disappeared, what, what does that mean? We push them back or they they didn't have a young homies to take their place, or I don't know. So who's there now? Probably the Mexicans. So look, Co Compton Avenue, Hat Gang, are the closest Crips that's to you guys. And you guys are just dismissing them off in this whole conversation. Which one you say? Hat Gang, Compton Avenue. They're not relevant no more. I mean, no disrespect to them dudes, but I don't know what happened to them to keep it 100. In our generation in the 80s, we never had no problems with them dudes. To keep it 100 from like once 83 time, to 86. Up, once upon a time, yeah. Hat Gang and Compton Ave. Never slid through here? Yeah, yeah, I didn't slid through. Yeah. Compton Avenue Crip? It's, like, it's yeah. like that, that it was like a, like a borderline, really. You know what I'm saying? I mean, those dudes were so close. The hats in the, in the CAC were few, they was like enemies. So they was killing each other anyway. You know what I'm saying? But we had our, 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 our beefs and whatnot with the hat gangs. That was like one of the main rivals. But like I said, a lot of hat gangs turned these coats. And you surrounded by we surrounded by all these dudes, so we really don't know who's coming in. So we just gotta hit all out, you know, hit all people, you know. Gotta spread it out, huh? Yeah. He gonna start provoking question. What can you pinpoint as the biggest problem facing Bloods and Crips today? 
That's face and bloods and crips. Yeah. You literate, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like yeah. bullshit. Yeah. No, you yeah. took me a while. No God, a while to catch yeah. on to no that. Yeah. No it's like it's like the, 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 everybody everybody got the younger generation in their backyard now, and it's like you got some that's gonna you know come to the older homies and they are gonna take heed to what you're trying to tell them. But it's a lot of them now that's saying the young home, the older homies ain't in the hood no more, or some of them are, and the ones that's are that, that are in the hood with them. They like, um, okay, they cool, but then the ones that's outside the hood, they come through now and then, they like, no, nah. how he gonna come tell somebody, he ain't on this block, he ain't on, but they don't feel to realize, that's why y'all here, because of the G's that stood on the block, on the front line, to, to, to you know, to orchestrate the shit that was going on, is why y'all can walk these streets now. So respect's the answer. That's, that, that's what it is. They don't. They don't respect the old homies now. You know. They. I mean. They're, they're killing the old homies now. Exactly. I'm sure you know that. Really is it a reason why most of the bloods embrace pyro? When you say most of the bloods, most of the bloods don't embrace pyro. Well, most. The biggest number of bloods are pyros. Mm -hmm. And Compton. When they had three, they they had well tell us the name. If you think about all the neighborhoods they claim. In other words, let me put it this way. How many uh, bounty hunter neighborhoods are there? One. How many Pyro neighborhoods are there? That's in common. That's, that's, that's only three. No, no, no. I'm just saying, no, no. You're talking about right now? Yes. There are bloods everywhere. Exactly. All out of state. You're talking about across the world. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's different, different yeah. branches. And they all. No, no, no. I'm saying, though, there's a, is there a reason specifically why most of them? Go to be in Pyro because you got Cabbage Patch, you got Lewis, you got West Side, you got Cedar, you got Fruit Town. You but let me remind you, it's Suge and Tupac was So you think it's so Hollywood type of stuff? Hell yeah, part of that played a big part of it when uh, they know Suge was a Pyro. Tupac was claiming Pyro. Yeah, that was the big part of it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So that was the big part of it. You talk about this new generation because back in the days it wasn't motherfuckers all over across the United States as Pyrus. You talk about all across the United States, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you talk about this in LA in general. Well, Compton is, is the Pyrus is the an original game out of Compton. Right. It's the only original game out right. of Compton, so it makes sense that all those people over there. And then you got Pyrus. the thirty Pyru, the neighborhood Pyru, and Ross the Avenue Snyder, Pyru. and the Avenue Pyrus, and then Circuit City Pyru and. Coin Pyro, Cabbage Pad Pyro. There's a lot of city really supposed to be buying them. Yeah, yeah exactly. They really? up and they like it here too as well. That's right? how they started. Right by La Siena Village. Uh -huh. Bonnie Hunter. Right. Back with Bonnie Hunter Clay. How they started out. It's interesting. What do you think you you everybody embraced the, the term blood too? Because we all always look at it as an endearment for everybody. To be comfortable, you know, in that space because say this, you guys are bebop be watts, right? And then you got the bound hitters, you got the swans, you got eight nine families, and you got the pot rules. So if you guys gonna be in commonality, the word blood would give you that. It started from the sixties. It started from the sixties. Uh -huh. After the Black Panthers, there was Green Jackets. Uh -huh. You know, Green Jackets was Bonnie Hunters. The Blue Jackets were Jordan Down Crips. Okay, now check this out. Blood came from just using the term young blood. Black Panthers, you know, hey young blood, you know what I mean? But somebody took that young blood and twisted it into they, a game like blood, which was one of them was Bonnie Hunter. Which was Green Jacks, they wouldn't with Jordan down for it. What, what high school did you go to? I went to Jordan High School. What year? I went to Jordan High School in 70, oh, 75, 76, no, 77. And what gangs was that Jordan High when you were there? Jordan Down Crips. That was it? That was it. Wasn't no Grape Street. Where'd the Bounty Hunters go? Bounty Hunters was always Bounty Hunters. What school did they go to? They went to some of them, very few, but. They went to Jordan Kansas. High School <laughs> and Jordan High School. I don't remember who some up there when I was there. When you when you first heard of body hunters, did they already have the blood on? <coughs> yeah, they already had the blood. A so lot went to lot too. Yeah, actually, yeah. the sport. It was already body hunters. What year was that? That's an old game. What what year was that? 
when you first heard a bounty hunter having a B on it? I was in I was in junior high school. I was going to Markham. And what year were you at Mark Markham? I was in Markham like in what's this? I think it's in '73. When you got older and talked to different people, do you remember when blood first came into play? The Blood Alliance or a gang with blood at the end of their name? No. No. I, I, because I grew up in the Pebbles. I was in the Pebbles, but I was so young, mm -hmm. you know, like four or five years old. Do you remember the first time you seen blood written on the wall? Yeah. When? Was where like, was it? We used to shoot dice back there anyway, so then I started seeing that pop up on the walls. Cause like my neighborhood at that time, I think they was Crips. Cause I used to see this CAC road on the sidewalk, and about that the John Skinner and Kojak and them got together. You didn't see that shit no more. And so CAC go back to the beginning. Yeah, but it wasn't for Compton Avenue oh. Crip. It was, I think it was Central Avenue Crip. Oh, you know, cause right. Central. I lived on Hooper. Central was like the next street over. But then, like I said, you had Big Time, Rag Time, and them. They wasn't going to have no crib that close. And that's what they wasn't going to do. Mm. And so, as far as you know, them motherfuckers just disappeared. Exactly. Uh, you mentioned Runt being related to you. Yeah. yeah. So you related to the Monsons? Yeah. They're my first cousins. Craig, Teddy Monson, Craig Monson, Runt. Uh, what was it like growing up knowing Monson's your big cousin? <laughs> it had some privilege a lot. That's why, um, as you see, I, we never, me personally, I never had no beef with the kitchens. You know, cause actually, they probably gave me passes because I used to go see my auntie a lot. And then I go in the back and see Teddy, you know, but never really had. I mean, me and Big Porky got out once, but um, that was about it. You know, but, but right now, yeah, that was my big cousin. I got shot up in front of Big Jack House back like in 84, 85. And um, <clears throat> my cousin now wasn't having that. They went on one. So look, did you see Craig lifting weights back in the day? No, but I seen um, how big he was. I, I took my kids to meet him when they was real little. You know, he still was big and a motherfucker. But I got seen a lot of pictures, but I never really walked up on him while he was lifting weights in the back. Man, that must be something else to have the legend. As a family member. Yeah, they, they that's a big Craig Munson name ring a bell. Teddy too though. Mm -hmm. Teddy a real one though, just real um, humble, you know. Good people so I got big love for my family. Munson never trying to tell you not to gang bang? Nah. Nah, I was I was too deep in it. I didn't listen to my own brothers, so I know I ain't gonna listen to no relative. How old are your older brothers? One's going to be 60, okay. and one is 64, mm. and um, I got one, I think my big, my other brother was about 57. He grew up with Big Taco. Taco from where? The one started Be By Wild. Be By Wild. But see, his nephew, Little Taco and Baby Taco, they keep they keeping their name alive, though. Mm -hmm. There's some real, real stand-up riders right there. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm giving them a shout-out and let them know it's twos and threes. What year did Ron get killed? Oh, I don't know. I think it was like 90, something like that. He been gone, been gone for a while. Did you go to the funeral? Nah. Nah. Like, fuck that, huh? Yeah, I don't think I was that cool with them dudes at that time. <laughs> I don't think they wanted me down there, did. Oh, but wow. you know, it's, it's always been, I've always been as cool, like with Big Smokey. From Kitchen and um, Scub, OG Scub from Kitchen and all them dudes, they all, they really looked out for me because I used to hang down there 
like on 86, 87, and, and Wilds were that Big Jacks. And that right there, that wasn't family hood. That was more kitchen hood, to tell you the truth, back then. So I never got popped on. I, I got popped on once, but that was by some of them sloughs and one of them old sloughs and niggas. Mm. One of them niggas tried to take me down. But uh, yeah, it was crazy. But like I said, we ain't never had no beef, I don't think, with the kitchen. At least I know I didn't. You know, I ain't never, I mean, I had one fight, but one, that was about it. You too young to remember the Castle Crips? No, I, I heard of them. I just didn't know none of them. How about the Shack Boys? The Shack Boys. But see, I used to be on the meet Big Jack, old man Jack, so I learned a lot from them. Mm -hmm. Like different cliques, OGs from Backstreet and all that shit. They knew of me. A lot of them thought I was Jack's son, but he used to just say that shit. We used to do business with him. You talking about uh, Jack that ran with Tookie? Yeah. Okay. Old oh, man Jack. Wow. It's another, it's a Billy Jack Billy though. Jack yeah. Kitchen, yeah. Yeah, his uh, family was from my name. Well, at least his cousin, Lil Kiko, rest in peace. That was his little young cousin. From your hood? Yeah. Big Jack, good people though. Mm -hmm. Billy Jack, I think that's what they call him. Mm -hmm. He was good people. He always showed me respect, I always showed him respect. Yeah, they both good dudes from as far yeah, as I know. Yeah, Big Jack. Like Big Jack. He's he real cool. And Billy Jack same real cool. I spent that day when I interviewed them with him. Yeah. Well, yeah, I know I'm growing up, though. To me, I a lot of them dudes down there, I actually can speak on Smokey and Porky. Porky is a stand-up guy, straight with it, too. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. We got Al right there on Wildsworth, and since then, I think shit, we both top respect. I know I got it for him, and he showed me the same. You know, never never went to no gunplay. We chopped him like you're supposed to back in the days and let it go.